In today's video, we're gonna be talking about open houses. So if you're thinking about selling your home or your home is for sale and maybe a friend or a family member asked, are you gonna have an open house? Today, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about what exactly an open house is, the pros and the cons, and hopefully answer any questions that you might have. So first off, let's talk about what is an open house. An open house today is fairly organized. Gone are the days of just opening the door and letting people in, have a look. Today, how we do an open house is a little bit more well-planned as well as structured for the safety of the belongings inside the home and the person holding the open house. Typically, what it looks like is lots of signage in the neighborhood, an advertisement of some sort on the MLS, hosting the time of the open house, and usually it's showing somebody through the home and closing the door behind them, letting the next party in if there's somebody else waiting outside. Very rarely is it just a free for all, opening a door and letting people look through the home themselves. When I hold an open house, if there's more than one person lined up to see the home, usually it's showing somebody in, letting them take a look at the home, thanking them for coming, and then taking the next party in. Now, if you're thinking about selling your home and you're wondering some of the pros and the cons to an open house, I'm gonna cover some of the most important ones. The most important one for me is usually time. Most open houses are held on a Saturday or a Sunday, and it's for a reason. It's usually when more people are off work and they're out and about and free to be able to look at homes that are for sale. Now, when an open house gets posted, the benefit and the huge pro to that is if it's a busy home and you're gonna get multiple showing requests that day, holding an open house over a two hour or a four hour window can often siphon more people in to that select time frame. We can host an open, say 12 to two o'clock, the five or six people that may be interested in booking a showing that day are gonna come in during that time and not have to do a nine o'clock showing for you and not have to ask you at noon to leave and not have to interrupt your dinner that day. You can get more people through through the target window. And that's the huge pro to doing an open house. Now, is there any cons? That's a question that I get asked a lot. The only thing that sometimes comes up is you need to know that when you do an open house, sometimes it's people that are driving by, sometimes it's nosy neighbors, sometimes it's the person next door, maybe they're thinking of selling their home or maybe they've just never been in your home. So you will get that type of traffic, typically that do come through the open house doors. Now, some of the questions that I get asked all the time, do homes sell at open houses? The answer is yes. Over the 15 years that I have sold real estate, I've always done open houses and I have sold homes from people who came through the door at an open house. Now, is it common for somebody to come through the door and write an offer? No, it's not very common. In our marketplace today, when it's a balanced or stabilized market, the most serious buyers usually make showing requests through their real estate agent. And they usually show the home privately, but not always. And when you're selling your home, the least I can do is have a prepared marketing plan. My marketing plan happens to have the use of open houses. I'm Joe Pratap with Remax. If you have any questions about selling your home or any other questions about real estate, you can call or text me anytime at 604-992-0616.